back country for life here. So there's been some confusion on how to make the most of this kit. This is a GSI Outdoors cooking kit. I've been using it for years and this is everything that comes in it. Well, actually this doesn't come in it. This doesn't come with it, the stove, but everything else here comes with it. And um, I can't remember which kit this is. Oh, it's the uh, How You Light Micro Duelist. So a lot of people I've noticed online said that you can't fit a fuel canister into the kit, um, which is false. You can, you can fit, um, at least in this kit, you could fit one of these 110 gram canisters. And then also a mini stove. It's got to be a pretty small stove. I, I would say this is, you know, a few inches tall. Um, and if you have anything bigger, that's that. I mean, it fits kind of in the palm of my hand here. If you have anything bigger than that, it's probably not going to nest well within the kit. So to get this to fit, it actually has the instructions right on the side, which is kind of funny, which I kind of find it kind of uh, interesting how people say that a fuel canister can't fit in there when it tells you that it can right on the side of the, of the pot. So um, go figure. But anyway, uh, it says what to do is, so this, this kit comes with four bowls, essentially. One's a mug. They call these bowls, but they're all bowls to me. Um, you know, and then uh, they have these little grips on, on these ones that make it the actual mug because it's got some of the heat resistant material fabric on the side so but that will nest inside the other bowl just like that so they are very compact they designed these really well i really like the gsi brand um, and so then you're going to put one of these lids upside down you start with that throw that in the bottom and then you're going to throw one of these in there and then um, what you have is you have your 110 gram fuel canister you then throw that in there and then what i like to do is just put the stove in here along with the spoon some people will put it in there and that makes it kind of difficult to nest it together and then what I'll do is I'll kind of tip this sideways and just quickly merge them together, I guess. If you put the canister in there and then you put the stove in and then you put the spoons in, you're going to sometimes run into trouble and you'll see that it doesn't fit. So that's why what I like to do is take these out, put the stove in first. I think the stove I got on Amazon for like 10 bucks, it works really well and it hasn't failed me in like five years. So, um, put those in there and then like I said, just kind of put it in there like that. Sometimes you're going to have to give it a couple tries. Let's see if I can do it here again. Did it really well the first time. But let's see if I can, there we go, just like that. And then you put the lid on, not upside down, right side up. And then this goes on top. And then you close it and it's all nestled in there. Pretty awesome. This is actually a kit for two people. So, or if you'd like to make a lot of meals or make a lot of drinks, then you could do that as well. But essentially it's for, for two people. I think that's why they call it the dualist micro duelist um, but
but I also have a Soloist and that's just a little bit smaller and that one can fit because it only has one bowl um, and in the lid uh, you could fit a larger not the 110 but the um, I think it's the 230 ram don't quote me on that but that one in there um, but then it ends up almost being the same weight because you're carrying more fuel so I like to carry this one in case I need more somebody's missing something or I have a friend going with me and then you could always use this as a water basin too because it's totally sealed and if you need to clean any of these dishes so Love this kit, but I mainly wanted to show you how to pack um, that fuel canister into this kit. Thanks. Hope you uh, enjoy this content. Like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you again.